What does this scent have? Oh, Lord have mercy. Why am I such a klutz? Hey everyone, Kaylee, your friendly neighborhood hairstylist here, and today I'm reviewing the new Kristen S. Collection for Target. So she already came out with a line for Target last year, which I extensively reviewed and fell in love with, and then she's recently come out with another collection as like an enhancement to the line, and that's what we're reviewing today. So I actually got to go to the launch event for this collection, and it was beautiful. I would expect nothing else from Kristen, but it was gorgeous and goals and aesthetic and all the things. And I actually got to meet her and talk to her about the line a little bit, and she described the purpose of the line as being like easy like Sunday morning, or even easy like Monday morning, and almost like a foundation line where it's a lot of things that you can do really quickly and go. It's meant to really work with your hair and your schedule to make everything beautiful and seamless. So that's what this collection is meant to add to the line as a whole. It will be permanent. It's just an expansion of the line. And as such, it has the same beautiful minimal packaging that we saw in the first one. We have the super helpful descriptions on the back, which I very much recommend reading when you're shopping in store. And the fragrance is still there. It's still floral, but it is less strong in all of the products, I think, this time around. And there are a couple products that have completely new scents to them, and I will point that out as I go. So, that being said, let's get into it. First things first, shampoos and conditioners. There are two new shampoos and conditioners in the line. First, we have the purple shampoo and purple conditioner. Uh, I'm gonna keep it short and sweet. I love it. The purple shampoo is now my resident purple shampoo in my shower, which is the biggest compliment I know how to give it. You can use the purple conditioner and shampoo together if you have a lot of toning to do on your hair. But if your hair is obedient enough, I would say pick one or the other personally. So I've been using the shampoo just cause that's how I like to do my toning, but the conditioner would be especially good for those of you guys with ombres and cause you're only toning like maybe from here down. It's a little better for your hair and gets the job done. And then there is the extra gentle shampoo and conditioner and that one has a different scent from the rest of the shampoos and conditioners and it is so good. And I don't even know how to describe it. I've tried, I've spent like entire showers just trying to figure out what the notes are. I don't know, but it's amazing. And I've been using the conditioner on the regular. It's a new favorite of mine and I've been pairing it Sorry, Kristen, but with my Herbal Essences Micellar Water Shampoo because I love that shampoo more than like life. So, I mean, if nothing else, I would buy it just to be able to smell it. But I also really, really like the gentle conditioner. The shampoo is great too. I just, I'm really into that Herbal Essences one. So that's been the shampoos and conditioners. Let's talk about the air dry products. First of all, we have the air dry cream, which is for all hair types. It's frizz calming, shine restoring, softening and smoothing and time saving. And you're supposed to apply this on hair that's about halfway dry, and then if you want to, you can scrunch it in to augment your natural texture, or just let your hair air dry as is. So I air dried this into my hair two different ways. The first way was to scrunch it just to see how my hair would look scrunched, and then the next one, I brushed my hair straight, and I did notice that it gave a really pretty amount of separation, it gave a really great amount of frizz taming, and I really liked the shine, because I would say it's more of like a lustrous glow than a shine. So as far as like an air dry cream, high praise. Love, 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 love. But also, I like to use it as a base for a hairstyle, so I'll put this into my hair while it's wet, let my hair dry, and then I'll style my hair as I want to. So you could straighten it, you could curl it, whatever. You're still gonna get the benefits from this. So you're still gonna get that frizz control, still gonna get the separation, still gonna get the shine, and that's what I did today. So I used this on my hair, and then I curled it, and you can see all of those things in play. And so it just kind of worked as a base, as a way to get that like signature Kristen S effortless but polished look. It sells for $10, and the fragrance is that floral fragrance from last time, but it's a lot more faint. So if you didn't fully enjoy the floral fragrance of the last collection, it's not as strong in this one. And our next air dry product is the Sea Salt Air Dry Spray. This one is meant for straight or wavy hair types. It gives instant texture, volume, and a non-drying, soft, matte finish. This obviously leaves out curly hair on the product. She says that she recommends the Beach Wave Spray for curly hair, because that one's a bit more moisturizing. Now you apply this on damp hair and scrunch it in, and continue to scrunch your hair as it dries to encourage any natural wave you have going on. I've gotta say, this thing really delivers, but the coolest thing about it is that you don't feel it on the hair. A normal, any kind of sea salt spray is gonna feel like salty, chalky, waxy, gunky. But this one, it's fully touchable. You can run your fingers through your hair. It has not caused any like excess tangling in my hair. 
and I feel like that just deserves all the hands up emojis. And then on my hair, I definitely got the volume, definitely got texture, definitely got a non-drying matte finish. The only thing I didn't like was that just my natural texture, some pieces are straight, some pieces are wavy. So I decided to curl the wavy pieces just a little bit so everything matched. And once I did that, I was fully in love. Like it was the just perfect amount of undone, effortless, but like still a little bit done that I wanted to do. I feel like this is Serena Vanderwoodson hair in a bottle and it's only $10, which is amazing. We desperately need to talk about the Style Assist Blow Dry Mist because this stuff will change your freaking life. This is for all hair types. It's ultra lightweight, split end smoothing, shine enhancing, and it cuts drying time. So to test the drying time, I timed it. Normally I wait until my hair is like 75% dry and then it takes me almost 10 minutes to dry it the rest of the way. So with this one, I let my hair dry in a towel for about five minutes and then I started going through it with the dryer. And what I noticed as I was drying it was that my hand was gliding through my hair significantly more easily. So it was definitely helping with that detangling. It finished drying, sit up, look at my phone. It had been five minutes, five minutes. And then not only that, my hair was shiny and movement filled and beautiful. I felt like I'd just gotten a blowout. I was so shook. I have expensive products, like $40 products that are supposed to do what this one does and they don't do it as well. And this one is only $14. Seriously. I think if you're going to buy any one product from this line, it needs to be this one. It will change your life. And then let's talk about the product that has come out of left field for me. It is the Recovery Balm Plus Cap. It's going to come in a little box like this and then when you open the box you get this little deodorant stick looking guy and then this little tiny shower cap looking guy. So this is kind of a treat and tame product. You can either use it for like applying as a deep conditioner. It gets a little tiring. You can just kind of like scrape off some and warm it in your hands and work it through your hair. And then you can let it sit overnight, which is what the little cap is for. You put it in a bun, you put this around the bun to protect your pillow. You look like an adorable person with a little tiny mini chef hat and your hair gets treated. So I did that the next day, like I went to the gym with my hair in a bun, came back, washed this out, and it felt so good. My hair felt amazing and I felt like it was really easy to use. It can also be used to kind of tame. So if you need to tame baby hairs, it can work for that. If you want to tame some ends, it can work for that. So I actually do really recommend it. It is $14. You get a ton of product and the smell again is that floral scent, but it's very much more faint than prior. Speaking of taming, let's talk about this. This is the Shine Pomade Plus Edge Control, which is for all hair types. It's very high gloss, it's flexible hold and water based. And I was just like, I don't slick my hair a whole lot. I don't like how that looks. I don't have crazy baby hairs. Like I just don't know how I'm gonna use this, but I found ways. First one I actually did today was I put a very thin film of it on my hands and then I used it to calm down the hairs that like to stick up on top of my head and they are still calmed and still like obedient, which is very nice, not usually the case. The next way that I used this was to control my baby hairs going to the gym because I have all these little breakage hairs that like to just kind of like fly around as I work out. And so I used this to slick everything back and then I went to a boxing class and I go, embarrassingly hard in boxing class, hence my knuckles. And normally my hair is destroyed afterward, but not a hair moved. And at the same time, my hair wasn't like helmet head. It wasn't like shellac head. Everything was very touchable, but it also was very obedient. And the final way I've been using it is actually through the links of my hair. I did that again today. I put a thin film of it through my fingers and then I just raked my fingers through so that you get this little bit of like definition and separation, but it also gives you, you know, a little bit of shine, a little bit of frizz taming. So it's great for, you know, like a more shiny, effortless, polished kind of curl. So I recommend this to those of you guys who need to control your edges, um, who like to create kind of like a sleek, like Desi Perkins ponytail on the regular, or if you like the kind of like effortless polished curls, kind of like I have going on today, I think any three of those will love this product. I also wanted to mention that the scent is a little closer to the, that gentle shampoo and conditioner scent. It's a little bit more like cucumbery and light. Um, so this is one of the few that's not like that floral scent. 
And now to one of the most unique products in the collection, we have the Signature Hair Water. And this is for all hair types. It's delicately fragrant, style reviving, moisture restoring, and has a super fine mist. The most amazing way I've seen this used is to refresh curly hair curls, like on the second or third day. There's a video on Kristen S's Instagram that like had me so amazed, like my jaw on the floor. And so if I had curly hair, I would be buying this like yesterday. Because I have straight fine hair, I have found other ways to use it. Um, I particularly love it when I wake up because I typically sleep with my hair in a braid and then the ends get kind of bent all funny and I wake up and they're doing like some kind of modern dance at the end of my hair. And so I'll just spritz it with a little bit of the signature water and brush it through and everything's fine. Like it gets rid of all the weird kinks and whatever else my hair is doing and I appreciate that. And then the other way I've been using it a lot is for second day like restyling my hair. So if I went overboard with the texturizing spray the first day or if my hair is just a little too dry, I'll spritz this through and it really helps to calm everything down, add a nice little bit of shine and luster to the hair and then I can restyle it very easily and continue going on with my day. This is only $10 and it has that same really light floral scent. And finally, I know y'all are waiting for this. This is the temporary rose gold tint. So if you imagine your hair color as a piece of paper, imagine just taking a light pink marker and drawing on that piece of paper. Does it show up? And if so, like what color do you think that is? That's probably the color that's gonna result from this. So if you have brunette to very dark hair, you know, that marker would make no difference. This will probably make no difference. Whereas if you have lighter hair, it will show up. And depending on how light your hair is, it will show up more pink or a little less pink. So you apply this in the shower after you have shampooed your hair, wring out the water somewhat. The less water you have in your hair, the more pink you're gonna get. Basically the water dilutes the pink. So if you really want the pink to show up, I would say like fully like towel dry that hair, like get it a little on the drier side than you think you need. Uh, if you have very light hair or you need to rinse this out again very quickly or whatever, keep a little bit more water in your hair. So the first time I put it on, my hair was much, much too wet. So I put it on, let it sit, dried my hair so excitedly and then I looked at it and I was like, where's the pink? When I got back in the shower, I made sure to really towel dry it. Like I got it as dry as I could with it still being kind of damp. And then I parted my hair as I normally wear it before I sprayed it on. Cause that was the next problem I had was that I kind of sprayed wherever the first time. And I think it's good if you can kind of get your hair parted in the right place. Cause that way you can really get those places that are the most visible. Because here's the funny thing about it. You can't mush this color around. It's like wherever the spray sticks, the spray sticks. And that's it. And I would say if you want like a full all over application, part your hair, spray it all over the top pieces, take your hand, turn the bottom pieces out so you can see them, spray the bottom pieces. And then do the same thing on the other side, spray the bottom pieces. And then let it sit for two minutes, rinse it out, condition. And then it was time to dry it. And what I noticed when I was drying it was that my hair was significantly more tangly. So I would actually recommend that either put a ton of like detanglers and moisturizing products in your hair before you blow dry it or air dry it. Um, because as soon as it's dry, the tangliness is no longer a problem, but I really noticed that like while it was wet and I was handling it, it was much more tangly. To me, that's not a big negative because now you know you'll be fine. It was just something that I learned that I would like to pass on. And then once it's dry, it's smooth sailing. You can style it however you want. You can use heat, you can wear white. It doesn't transfer on anything. It was very, very easy to wear. I think the biggest question I've gotten is like, how easy is it to remove? I would say after the very first shower I did after this, it got like 70% of it out. And my hair mostly just looked like I used too much purple shampoo. It didn't look crazy or anything. I would definitely, like if I worked at a conservative office, I would put it up in a bun or something and I think it would be good to go. And then after the next shower, it was like 95% gone. And I would totally wear my hair like down to a conservative office at that point. And then after the third shower, it was completely clear. Everything was good to go. So I did two applications on my hair. I had the failed one and the one that took and an application on my hair extensions. And this bottle still feels about half full. So you can get several weekends out of it. It's only $12. It has that same floral scent. And if you want pink hair, I very much recommend it. Oh, that's it. I'm finally done. 
I actually did not mean to fall off my couch. So that's my review of the new Kristen S collection at Target. Uh, I have a lot of favorites from the line. I don't know how to condense it, but I will try to choose like my top five. First one is the air dry cream. I really like it, especially for just giving my hair that more polished, shiny look. Although that being said, my second favorite would be the sea salt air dry spray because I think this is the answer to all of my sea salt prayers. Third would be the shine pomade. I love this stuff. I will use this on my baby hairs for the rest of time and I really like it through my ends on those days where I want a little bit more shine and definition. Blow dry mist is another favorite. If I have like a super intense workout or something, I don't try to like make myself stretch it out anymore because I know I have this so I can dry my hair really quickly and that's like it's legitimately has actually changed my life. My final favorite for me is the recovery balm. I just think it's really amazing. I love the application. I love the little tiny bun hat. I think it's so cute. Um, our honorable mention has to go to the purple shampoo and the extra gentle conditioner because I have been using them a ton, but I feel like if you only have the money to spend on like two or three products, I would go with the five that I mentioned. But if you wanna like go splurgy splurge or you really need a good purple shampoo, the purple shampoo, and the extra gentle conditioner are very good as well. So that's it. I really, really enjoyed this line. I thought it was an amazing follow-up to the first one. I think that you guys would really enjoy trying it out. Uh, if you've already tried out the products, let me know which ones you enjoy in the comments below, or let me know which ones you were looking forward to purchasing because I would love to hear what sounds the best to you guys. That is it for today. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss a video from me. And I will see you guys in the next one. Mwah. Bye.